Oshaba. And so now you need to understand that God is saying, Son, my daughter Oshamandi Osaya, I'm not giving you over to the confusion, but I've given your enemies over to their own confusion. And God is moving by his spirit right now. He's uncovering, he's exposing. And there are many of you that walk with people. You've gotten relationships with people, huh? And and then all this confusion just it just sprouts out uh, out of nowhere. And you begin to see the people in another way. You have one perspective of them, but then God shows you another. And, uh, and which one are you gonna look at? Which one are you going to listen to, O Shabba? This is not a time that you go ahead and try to be recognized or ordained or or, or, or or given a ghost signal by man, woman, boy, or girl. But you need to be so connected to Yehovah that, uh, uh, you know, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighteth in his way. you got to come to the place where Yehovah is ordering your steps. I'm talking about the illusion of with confusion and you know that's just like you take something and you put it in the oven and it looks done and you get to the center of it it's cold it was an illusion uh, that, you know and because it, you know it didn't heat up properly there comes confusion and I'm talking to somebody that wants to follow instructions God's instructions that he would lead you and guide you in all truth I'm talking to somebody that is broken today and you ain't got no other way and all you want to do is learn how to believe God in another way. You want to learn how to serve God. You want to learn how to please God. You want to learn how to love on God. Oh Shabba. And God is moving by his spirit with it right now. I'm telling you right now. We, he said to us, he said, son, I want you to tell my people that there's an illusion with all that confusion. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it seems. It won't be as they predicted. Oshaba. It can't happen the way they predicted. Why? Because there's an illusion with all that confusion. There's an illusion with it. And God is making us aware of the illusion that comes with all that confusion. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Glory and honor. In the book of Isaiah chapter 19 starting at verse 2 I will incite Egypt against Egypt brother will fight against brother friend against friend city against city kingdom against kingdom the courage of Egypt will ebb away within it I will reduce its course its counsel to confusion I will reduce its counsel to confusion they will consult idols and mediums, ghosts and spirits. I will hand over the Egyptians to a cruel master and harsh king will rule them. Let me tell you something. This is not the time to be playing with God and going in and out with things on your mind. You know, you can be in you can be in business transactions, you can be in in things in the church. Amen. And all this confusion, you can't make a decision, huh? The enemies come in and you've got all this stuff going on and you're almost really out of the perfect will of God. And so, you know, this confusion comes and, and listen, if you just don't stop now, the illusion of the confusion you think you're going to make it you see yourself being a, uh, you know with with all the success based on what you're doing and you think you pass every test and you call yourself doing your best but the one thing you did was you forgot about almighty God you did not put him in your plans all you have in front of you is your business all you have in front of you is uh, your ideal you know you don't have the things of God in place you're not concerned about how your son or your daughter makes it oh shabbat you're not concerned about the things of God, but you're concerned about that thing that makes you makes you uh, uh, pat yourself on the chest. Uh, what you call your baby? This is this is your prize. This is your position, and you 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 forgot about the things of God. Well, I'm telling you right now. Let me tell you something. If you serve the devil, you're gonna have a devil, a demonic ruler. If you do the things of darkness, that's what's gonna come into your camp. You ain't getting away with nothing today. You may think you're okay, but I'm 
telling you right now, God's judgment is going to come to the church. And it's going to start with leaders. It's going to start with you. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, that have been uh, um, sending confusion to the people. You're, I'm talking to you that have been manipulating the people. You just wanted to have it your way. You were self-righteous. You were self-centered. Oh, Shabbat. And God is laying his hands on you now and saying, son and daughter, lift those hands up and say, I'm sorry. Repent. Oh, Shaman Diosiah, lest you be caught up in God's vengeance. Let me tell you something. God is a jealous God. Let me tell you something. He's not going to think lightly of you uh, 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 dealing with other people uh -huh, and other spirits and making other gods. No, 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 no. This is the time where you got to remember that God is the one that needs to be on your mind. This is the time that you got to remember how God said he would move for you. And in and, and this time, God's going to move. And listen, you can't, you know, God is telling you one thing and you got all these people in your ear telling you this, that, and the other. All the things opposite of God. You got people trying to pull you out of the will of God. And this is the confusion. And they painted this illusion, huh? Like you're going to be great and successful. That God's going to do this, that, and the other. But God never did the things they're saying for you to them. I know what I'm talking about. Listen, that illusion is nothing but confusion it's an illusion it's not what it looks like you look she's not what she looks like he's not what he looks like their words aren't what they don't mean what they say or shaba and whatever you hear it, it's not what it sounds like there's something underneath it because the you know you can't see the real thing you see an illusion or shaba and this is why we gotta wait on Yehovah. this is why we gotta wait on the precepts and the concepts continent of God. We got to come and wait on the instructions from God. We can't move out in our own understanding. No, 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 no. Because we know ourselves even from time past, this will cause us nothing but tragic outcome. In Isaiah chapter 22, this is why I said, don't look at me. Leave me alone and weep bitterly. Don't try to comfort me over the destruction of my people for it is a day of panic trampling and confusion from adonai elohim in the valley of visions with walls crashing down they cry for help to the mountains i'm telling you right now confusion comes sometimes in the valley of vision uh, god's giving you great vision god's moving by his spirit and you're right where you're supposed to be and here comes brother joe and sister mary they're trying to pull you here there and everywhere and before you know it, you're being pulled from every side and every angle uh, you're in the valley of vision and that vision god has birthed in you god is released in you and you're about to bring that thing forth and in your valley of vision you see all the confusion you see the panic because the people based on the report of what they heard they become flustered and scattered they become nervous and we give his name glory honor and praise but God said today he said son I want you to stand still in all of me I want you to proclaim my liberty and set the people free. I want you to live your life as you're living it unto me. Because it is me and me only that has set thee free. And God is moving by his spirit over the airways. I'm telling you today you can make it. I'm telling you today in the valley of vision. I'm telling you with all this confusion going on, I need you to hold on to God. I know that you, you've been going through a rough place i know it seems endless but god is saying to you today i'm going to come through for you i haven't forgotten about you but i'm going to move by my spirit over your life i'm going to move by my spirit over your finances i'm going to move by my spirit over your home i'm going to move by my spirit over 
your principles and your purpose and the Lord Osaya the will of Yehovah shall be done and the Lord Osaya you're going to make it and the Lord Osaya you got to keep mindful that you're in the valley of vision you got to keep mindful that this is a great thing that you're about to build this is a great ministry that is about to be birth there's a message there's a word in you that God is about to birth and the Lord Osaya in your valley of vision and the Lord Osaya and you got to be mindful you got to be careful what you say and what you don't say. You got to be careful who you're around and who you're not around. This is not the time to be playing with gossip, murmuring, complaining, and all those jokes and all that stuff. No, you want to be in the, because you're in the valley of vision, you want to be in tune with the things of the Holy Spirit. I'm talking to somebody that realizes uh, that they're in the valley of vision. And all around them, people are panicking and people are going, uh, people are, 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 are going astray. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. But I'm telling you, God has a way for the righteous. Uh, uh, with all the things that are going on in the land it's time for us to look up as a people and you need to know that God has a plan for your life and the only way you're going to be sensitive and know to know what God wants to do and to be able to receive God's instruction you've got to yield out the Lord Sire. you've got to yield your mind body soul and spirit you've got to yield to the things of God you've got to yield to the principles and purposes of God I'm reminded I'm the Lord Sire. I have heard somebody say to me every time you talk to him it used to it used to aggravate me they would say to me god is able i'm done alone Sire. well i know he's more than able what to do exceedingly abundantly more than i could ever ask hope or think but i knew that these people were saying stuff to me that they didn't really believe because you know in the in the valley of vision and when you're dealing with confusion and panic a lot of people make themselves up to be something that they're not it's an illusion of shabbat they're preaching to you they're praying for you and they're prophesying to you they're reading the scriptures they got their collar on it's just an illusion and you go in this building and they got the stained windows and all these crosses and pews or Shabbat but I'm letting you know that there's an you and there's an illusion it looks like something that should be called the house of God but far from it and that's the illusion that you're seeing right now and and so you need to lift those hands hands up and say God I thank you for my eyes I thank you for the vision I thank you for uncovering on the low side in Isaiah 34 the horned owl and the hawk will possess it the screech owl and the raven will live there he will stretch over it the measuring line of confusion and the plumber line of the empty void of its nobles none will be called to be king and all the princes will be nothing thorns will overgrow the palaces nestled with thistles and fortress it will become a liar for jackals and an enclosure for the ostrich I'm telling you right now, God is changing some things. You better switch sides. You better get back on the right side. You better get back on the things of God. You better be mindful of the things of God. God, let me tell you something. God is not playing today. God is sending confusion to the enemy. The enemy don't know which way to go. The, the enemy don't know how to get out of this. He goes from one lie to the next lie. And you know, this is a time that you just need to stop and realize that God is speaking to you and then all this confusion that is going on God is allowing it to happen what to bring glory to himself uh, why would he bring glory this way huh? let me tell you something there is no why he's just God and he can do it seemingly abundantly more than he can ever ask hope or more than we can ever ask hope or think there's nothing too hard for God there's nothing that God can't accomplish under the low sire and so why you're where you are under the low sire take another look around and I 
want you to see God in the midst of it. Take another look around and begin to feel God's presence. Oh Shabbat. Take another look around and draw from his healing you that are sick and afflicted. Take another look around and I want you to draw that need financial miracles. Take another look around oh Shamandi Osaya. You that need deliverance oh Shamandi Osaya. Uh, take another look around and draw from your healing. Yeah God is moving. God is moving in this space. Uh, I'm telling you right now our enemies are being confused. Oh Shabbat. Our enemies don't know what happened to you. Uh, the way they saw you is not the way you are. God has hid you from some people, places and things. Oh Shabbat. They wanted to make themselves grand. They wanted to make themselves important. They wanted to make themselves accepted. But thanks be unto God where he separates, divides and removes. Oh Shabbat. God is moving by.